Hello, hello everyone. I am here to make a video regarding Fallout 3 Mod Organizer and FOSE and Steam working all together. Basically getting the Steam overlay to work with um, FOSE running through Mod Organizer. Um, now I'm going to be kind of, I guess, jumped a little bit ahead. I won't be showing you how to use the um, anniversary patch downgrader or is it called that the anniversary patch downgrader or basically the patcher to downgrade the game to before it got the uh, update to remove games for windows live and um i assume you already have mod organizer installed you have your mods installed you have fosc installed and kind of oops okay hello phone um basically you got everything <laughs> you know set up ready to go um, so to get right to it, the main thing that you will need to use to get this to work is a mod, uh, it's a F O or fallout launcher replacer, I believe it's called, but I will find it if I could get to my downloads list. So fallout launcher replacer for steam. So this is a manual download. So once you download it, you will drag from the RAR file the um, exe to wherever you have Fallout. So you will have, you'll name it Fallout Launcher Steam because that's what the launcher was named to. And you'll give the actual Fallout Launcher a name like Fallout Launcher Steam Backup or something, whatever you want to name it. And you'll also create a fallout launcher.ini. You do not name it the same as what you named the actual launcher replacer. It still has to be fallout launcher.ini. And that basically is the configuration file for the launcher replacer. And <clears throat> once you have the exe for the launcher replacer in your fallout 3 directory, you will go to the custom line in the INI configuration file and put the path to the mod organizer launcher. So once you do that, you will go to the Fallout 3 listing on your Steam library and on the launch options, you will put dash dash start space custom. And once you do that, you will just launch your game it'll launch mod organizer and then of course you know if you have your whatever mod you got installed and you will select specifically fallout 3 you can't launch fose directly or it'll complain about unknown version and all that random stuff you just simply have to launch the actual fallout 3.exe and then once you do that hopefully this is capturing my game okay <clears throat> but uh I'll just play it really quick to show you this working. First, I will do the git fose version command to show you that script extender is actually working, fose version one. And I just realized that <coughs> I do not have a save. So I guess we'll just skip that. And uh, fudge, I don't have the quick start thing. Um, but you can see, like it says DynaVision Lens, um, and it might pop up some other stuff, but this is basically showing you that it actually is working. Um, so yeah, I'll just quit out of this. Uh, but yeah, that uh, seems to be the best way to get it to work. Um, so yeah, I think I might make a Steam Guide for this, because uh, this is, I feel, really straightforward. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helped all you guys out. Hopefully you can continue to enjoy Fallout 3 and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.